Well, good morning. It is Saturday. And I'm really in need of a slow Saturday. I'm actually in need of a long glass of wine or something to make this day slower. Let me tell you what happened in my world. I completed the sweater yesterday, the knitting at least. I completed the knitting. It was finished. The shoulder has got a three needle bind off and I did the neck ribbing, a nice double ribbing, so everything is finished. There's the body. I've knitted the sleeves, here they are. All I need to do is sew up, put the sleeves on the body and sew up the underarm seam and then it's done. So this thing was pulling slightly, which is normal. It's different stitch patterns. Cables pull in, guards the stitch, pushes out to the width and it pulls in in the length and stocking stitch is the opposite. It pushes out in the length and it pulls in in the width and moss stitch is balanced, all those kind of things. It's nothing to worry about. It's perfectly normal. I'm just going to give it a light steam. So I steamed it. Now the yarn that I used has a fair acrylic content, which means that once you've steamed it, it's not that nice to frog it. So what does that tell you? I made a fook up, a very big one too. I could not understand why this jersey is pulling. Something is wrong. Let me show you what's wrong. This is the back. How can I place this now so that you can see? How many repeats do you see? One, two, three, four. Here's the front. One, two, three. I kid you not. I missed a whole repeat and I don't know how. I've got no idea and I've steamed it. It's a big write-off now. Two bags of yarn gone, hours of knitting gone. I am so upset with myself. So yeah, my Saturday is going to be slow. I'm going to be sit. I'm going to be sitting, wondering what to do now. Shall I re-knit the whole thing? I've got more of the same yarn, different colors though. It's a gray and a pinkish color. It's not exactly what I wanted. So I must decide now. Am I going to redo it for the sake of having my jersey? Or am I just going to leave it and take photos of the testers ones? I don't know. But it's a shitty slow Saturday at the moment. I feel immensely sorry for myself. I'm going to have a pity party for a whole freaking hour. <sighs> you know. Anyway. Yesterday when I casted off the last sleeve, I realized, hmm was the last, the last knit with my child goose. They are off to a new house on Monday. They've been sold and paid. Uh, my bestie Alta has lent me her Knit Pro knitting set that I'm going to use for a month until my lantern moons arrive in South Africa on the 10th of June. My bestie from Hong Kong is coming in June and she is bringing the lantern moon pins with her. I can't wait. Also on the radar, and that is now where the big decision come in, am I going to re-knit this jersey or am I just going to call it a day and say stuff off, I don't want to see you again, and get going with this. You remember I bought this in Cape Town, I bought it from Brennett Yarn. This is Aymara from Quinty Alpaca. It's a super fine alpaca, 40%, bamboo, 20%, and merino, 40%. It's a... A light sport weight, I'd say, it's 300 meters on 100 gram. I've got 
two hanks of each color. So I've got 600 gram to play with. And I want to crochet a massive triangular shawl with this. You know, on days like today, where I really feel terrible, I love a big triangular shawl. A triangular shawl on a day like today is like giving yourself a hug. I love a big triangular shawl. I really do. And I've got an idea in my head of what I want to do, but I know it's going to take some fiddling. And um, I got my Ilona hooks this week. I missed a few sizes that got broken in storage and whatever. I got them this week, so I've got a full set of Ilona hooks now, and I'm very glad now I can start to crochet. And I've got the knit bro set from Alta, so I can re knit this jersey if I really want to. I'm not sure whether I want to, I'm still thinking about it. <sighs> but I'm so pissed at myself. It's just no other word. I have no idea how I did that. I really don't. No idea whatsoever. So do I want to re-knit this thing? I don't know. I'll think about it. I have a couple more cups of coffee and I'll think about it. I really don't know. So yeah, that's what it's what's in my world. Anyway. Um You know, somebody that's very dear to me is currently sitting next to her husband in hospital and he's terminal with cancer and he's on his last, he can go at any moment. I've been sitting this whole week thinking about her while I was knitting and I realized again, you know, we all know it, life is but a fleeting breath. It's over so fast. And then when somebody is gone, we think of all the things we still wanted to say to that person and all the things we still wanted to do with that person and whatever. And maybe today is just a good day to do exactly that. To everybody who's watching this video, you give me purpose in life. You may not know it, but you give me purpose. You give me a reason to get up in the morning and to start designing. If it wasn't for you, my patterns would be worth absolutely nothing. I wouldn't put them out because what for? You the followers give me purpose. Just by watching this video you give me purpose and I want to thank you. I want to say to you I see you. I realize your worth in my life, your value that you add to my life, the purpose that you give to my life and I just want to say thank you. Thank you to my team of testers. They, they are like this little crowd huddled around me and they're always pushing me to something new pushing me to new heights, pushing me out of my comfort zone to design something new and something different. And I can't do it without them. I can't. They test my patterns with so much patience. Um, one of them is also my tech editor. She reads the, the patterns with so much patience and she doesn't miss a thing and she never wants payment for it. I'm just so pleased to have my team of testers around me, you know? Without them, my life would be so empty. My craft would be worthless. I can't, I can't put out patterns without them. And they know who they are. Um, people that have been testing with me for a long time, Alta and Michelle and Dorit, Ingrid, who's always ready to test something new. Arlette, who's always ready to, to take in another pattern. And there are more than those. There, there are many more my husband you know he's my biggest fan I always smile when I put something on my page on social media he will share it to his private wall even though 
none of his friends crochet and knit. He always shares my post and I think that's absolutely adorable. He is just such a gem. And I've gone to him a few times today and I've given him a huge hug and said to him, you know, I just appreciate you so much and I love you so much. And maybe that's what we need to do on this slow Saturday. Maybe we just need to voice our appreciation for the people around us because we don't know for how long we're going to have them. I cannot fathom what it must be to sit beside the bed of your husband today waiting for him to pass on to the next world. How sad is that? I have so much today to be grateful for, regardless of the mess that I've made, regardless of the anger I have <laughs> towards myself today, I still have so much to be grateful for. So I'm now going to sit and I'm going to reflect and then I'll decide what the hell I'm going to do. If I really want this jersey in my cupboard, I will have to re it. And if I don't really need it in my cupboard, then I will just take photos with the testers project. It's a big decision. But whether I re it or not, I've wasted two packs of yarn. You know. Such is life. Shit happens. We just got to pick ourselves up and continue on. I hope you have a blessed week and I will see you next Saturday and then I will tell you whether I re at this thing or whether I just ditched it. Be blessed. <laughs>